what's happening guys welcome back to another episode of holly's garage um today is different we'll be working on a boat a little bit nothing crazy but um i scooped this boat up um been looking for a while just to get a boat that's kind of cheap bring the kids out on and stuff and um, i was able to score this thing on marketplace and uh it's a, it's a pretty decent little boat um let's jump in i'll, I'll show you around it and then uh, we'll change all the fluids the filters and um you know, see how it runs So, uh, this boat, I scooped it up like a couple weeks ago, or about a week ago, I guess. And, uh, it's a 1995, um, what is it? A 95 Ocean Scout is what it's called. Um, I guess they were made, I think they were made up in, uh, like Rhode Island and stuff. Um, you don't really see these boats especially around here but it's got a pretty flat back to it um, pretty light boat I think it says it's 1100 pounds or so um, you know she's not perfect she's a little rough around the edges but the deck and stringers were replaced like five years ago uh, it's got a new power head about five years ago and I did like a compression test on it everything's perfect I think it was all like 112 psi on every cylinder um, it's got a jack plate on it, which I gotta hook up because it's not it's not currently wired up. Um, so I'll see if that works. And then uh, these old two-stroke E-Techs, they're pretty good. But, um, you know, they're some people hate them, some people love them. Um, I think they're solid overall. And uh, I mean, I've seen them with like 2,000, 3,000 hours on them, some of them. And um, besides that, though, this thing's just a solid little boat. It's only a little 20 footer, but I figure it's good enough for the kids to, uh, we can go fish a little bit here and there when I get time, and um, that's about it. But all we're going to do is change, this thing sat for like two years, um, so we're going to go through, change all the fluids, the lower unit fluid, which uh, I got in this bag here, and um, I don't know. We'll grab, I think this takes like a little more, I think the lower unit takes a little more than a quart. Um, so I think it takes like 16 and a half ounces, I think is what it is. So um, so you have to basically buy two quarts. So I got two quarts of that, got a fuel water separator, and then I have another uh, fuel water separator for that's under the cowling on the engine. Um, fuel water separator on this boat's down in this hatch. There it is down there. Looks like it's probably going to be a little bit of a pain to get off, but um, we'll give it a shot. Then the other thing I'll do, I'll probably add like a the pump's missing for um, for like a wash down on this thing, so I'll add one of the, a pump for that probably. And uh, that's it really. I'm not going to do a whole lot of crazy stuff to this because I don't want to get into it. Um, just gonna try to run it as it is for a while and uh, see how that goes. But everything's pretty decent on it. Um, came with this these covers I had made, which is nice. It's got like a big, big tall or uh, big Garmin screen on it. Um, so that's pretty sick. And then. That's it really I started it while we were there looking at it um, I might pull all the uh, gas out of it there's like quarter tanks in here is what it was showing um, and then we'll go from there so hopefully that'll do it and uh, should be ready to rock but um yeah I'll get into changing these filters real quick and just show you kind of the rundown on it and um, that's it all right first filter I'll change is the one up here uh, just because it's super easy to get to.
the part number on that's 18 7789. I don't know if you can see that or not. But simple to change these out. I just do it every season because it's cheap. I guess it doesn't smell bad or look bad, so it might actually all be kind of fresh. I don't really know if that's necessary, but actually, it looks like this filter. No, this filter says uh, it's from 2017, so. That's an older one for sure. This one I just bought says Those are they're plastic threads on there, so you don't want to get it crazy tight. You just want to get it hand tight. Um, now, I'll go get a pan. We'll drain the lower unit fluid. So the lower unit fluid to, to, to drain that, super simple. So here's your fill plug. Here's your drain plug. So just this a uh, small Allen on this one. Um, so you just crack that free, let her drain and then uh, fill it back up. Super simple stuff. Alright, so we'll break these loose. Nice. It looks real good. Um, we'll see if there's any water in it because the water will sit at the top, but it doesn't look milky or anything. Not like my John boat, which the lower unit, I guess the seal went bad on me while I was running it and the thing just locked, the uh, lower unit just basically blew up on it. Um, the other thing I was looking at is this prop here. Got a bit of a bend in it here at the end. I don't know if I can. Um, I probably beat it out. I might be able to just bend it here because it's really. It's just a really tiny knit or bend right here on the end. You can see it. So I figured I'd try to straighten it out. Should probably heat it a bit, but I don't even think I have to because it's just the, just the end. Not that this is going to do much to hinder it, but uh, or the performance, but I end up catching a catching a rock or something anyway, eventually. Well, hopefully not, but more than likely a stump. But yeah, so it's straight in there from there. That's super thin there. I 
Good enough for me. <clears throat> I'll let this drain out. Um, and I'll come back. But uh, the flu looks really good. So, one last thing to worry about. But I just, I'll just change it anyway. I think it's sixty dollars or something worth of fluid. Um, but it gives me peace of mind at least. Alrighty. Um, yeah. And the other thing you do when you pull the plug, you want to check it, see if there's any metal shavings. But you could kind of see there's some fine shavings on here, which I would say is normal. Um, <clears throat> but I'm no professional. But um, so I'll just clean this thing off. I'll stick it back on there. Let's see. see, there's a little bit of fine shavings, which I believe is pretty normal. And then uh, you don't want to lose your, make sure you have your seal, there's a little gasket that comes with the o-ring. Um, so you get that on there. And this stuff, I mean, it's clean, so probably could have got away with just reusing the same old fluid, but just to be on the safe side, I just, you know, cheap security or insurance, kind of. So let's tighten it back up, and we'll fill it up. Um, <clears throat> then you just fill it basically until it comes out the fill port and uh, then you know you're full there's a bunch of metal up in this one but that's also fairly fine metal um, and I'm gonna go grab a pump I, I think I have a pump for this to put it in if I don't, then, uh, yeah, there's a bunch of little fine metal on there, but, um, I think I have a pump. If not, I might have a, a hose that I could kind of push in there and get to, get it to seat and then just push it in that way and gravity feed it. So here's a setup. It's, it's actually makes everything a lot easier and cleaner, but, um, you just thread that in there and slip, slip this, uh, Slip this over and that's it, pump it up. So you just, just keep on pumping, basically. Takes a while, that's for sure. But I won't videotape this whole thing, but you get the idea of the process. All right, we got that lower unit filled. Now let's um, we'll work on getting this uh, filter off. Wasn't too bad. Spill any, but it's full of gas. <clears throat> yeah, 
Yeah, this gas is good. It smells good too. Um, let's see. Let's just get the other filter on. I might just dump this gas in that other filter. All right, if you need the filter number on this, it's 18 7866. Uh, let's see. What was this one? I was just curious when this one was made. 2020. So that's probably been a few years for sure. Um, looks like they probably changed it in 2021, depending. But this is a... So I just bought this filter. It was made in 23. So, so yeah, filters haven't been changed in a few years. But he also said this sat for two years. So I guess... Uh, I guess we'll see how she goes. Put this new one on. I'm up here, what's up? Alright, hand in tight. Um, that's it. I'm gonna pull all the plugs on this too. I uh, checked them. When I checked the compression, when I first went to go get this thing, they were kind of fouled up a bit, but uh, yeah, go ahead, ready? Jump up. Whoa. Uh, I got it. You got it? I on. Oh. Nice. All right, don't hit any buttons on me though, okay? Wow. Pretty neat, huh? You excited? I thought we could sleep on our boat in here, Dad. Mm, I don't know about that. You could buy an extra piece for it. <laughs> Maybe. I could build a big, or get a big canvas made for this thing so you could sleep on it, but we're just going to go fishing and crabbing on it. <laughs> Alright, we'll pull the plugs on it. So they're, uh, oh, they're, they're a little bit fouled up. Um, I'm just going to hit them with a wire brush and see how she does. And then, uh, you know, if I need to replace them eventually, I'll, re I'll replace them. All right, so I'll just take them, hit them a little bit, clean them up. And uh, they, look, they look pretty dang good. So I'll just do it to all sorts of them. Pop them back in. And then uh, maybe we'll be able to go soon on this boat, huh? Yeah, yeah baby. Please like, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, well thanks for checking out this episode of Holloway's Garage. Um, really simple stuff again, but uh, just doing some maintenance stuff and trying to get these kids out on the water because summer's basically over and uh, we really haven't been on, we never, ha we haven't had a boat, but um, I don't wear any exciting. diapers now. It's good, but uh, thanks for watching and um, if you wouldn't mind, hit that like and subscribe button. I don't wear any And uh, that'd be great, now. thanks. Poopies.